Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. In this tutorial, we will be learning how to use shape keys for animation in Blender 2.83. So let's get on with the tutorial. Shape keys are used to deform objects into different shapes for animation. Shape keys are generally used for the facial animation of a character or for refining a skeletal rig. Shape keys can be applied to objects with vertices such as meshes, curves, surfaces, and lattice. It is not possible to add or remove vertices in a shape key, so it is best to have the object ready with all possible needed vertices before using shape keys. The Shape Keys panel is accessed under the Object Data Properties in the Properties Editor. If you add a Shape Key with the plus button, the new shape will be a copy of the basis shape, independent of the current shape in the 3D viewport. If you add a new shape from the specials list, which is the arrow below the minus button, the shape will start with the vertex configuration visible in the 3D viewport. We will look at the relative shape keys first. While in object mode, you can add two shape keys, one for the basis and the second for the modification of the mesh. By double-clicking on the second shape key's name, you can rename it. Tabbing into edit mode will allow you to make any changes you want on the second shape key. We can choose the top right faces and then move them up along the z-axis. Tabbing back into object mode we can now use the value to see the changes. If we change the value to 1, we see the shape change. If we use other values such as 0.5, we will show the change of the faces at the midpoint. If you have a symmetrical object, you can mirror the shape key onto the opposite side. If we set the value to 1 on the second shape key, we can then add a mirror shape key. Under the specials list, choose new shape from mix to add a third shape key. Then choose mirror shape key from the specials list. And then change the value of the third shape key to 1. Now we have a mirror shape key for the object. Now we will look at absolute shape keys. Uncheck the box next to relative, then click on the reset timing button to reset the timing for each shape key. In object mode, drag the evaluation time slider to show how the shape changes between keyframes. Animation with shape keys can be done either with drivers, which will be discussed in a future tutorial, or with keyframes. We can add a keyframe on frame 1 for the base cube by clicking I over the evaluation time field. Then move to frame 20. Then change the evaluation time. and add a keyframe, then move to frame 40 and change the evaluation time and add a keyframe. So let's look at the shape keys panel. We have a list view of all the shape keys available to us. In relative mode, the value is the current influence of the shape keys that is used to blend between the shape, which is a value of 1, 
and its reference key, which is a value of zero. In absolute mode, the value is the evaluation time at which the shape will have the maximum influence. Mute is when the check mark is unchecked and the shape key will not be taken into consideration. The specials list contains eight options. New shape from mix adds a new shape key with the current deformed shape of the object. Mirror shape key mirrors the shape's keys along the x-axis if the object is symmetrical. Mirror shape key topology works the same as the mirror shape key by detecting the mirrored vertices based on the typology of the mesh. This will work even with non-symmetrical objects. Join as shapes copies the current resulting shape from a different object to a new object. Transfer shape keys transfers the active shape key from a different object to a new object. Delete all shape keys will delete all your shape keys. Move to top moves the selected shape key to the top of the list. And move to bottom moves the selected shape key to the bottom of the list. The shape key lock shows the active shape in the 3D viewport without blending. The shape key edit mode will show the shape key without the maximum influence in edit mode. There are some differences depending on whether you are using relative or absolute shape keys. Let's look at the options for the relative shape keys. The clear shape keys sets all influence values or weights to zero. Value is the weight of the blend between the shape key and its reference key. Range is the minimum and maximum range for the influence value of the active shape key. The vertex group will limit the active shape key deformation to a vertex group. And relative to refers to the shape key to deform from, which is the reference key, and this is usually the basis. Now let's look at the absolute shape keys options. The retime shape keys resets the timing for the absolute shape keys. Interpolation controls the interpolation between the shape keys. And evaluation time controls the influence of the shape key. If you have a request for a tutorial or a question about Blender, feel free to leave a comment. If you're interested in learning more about 3D art and animation, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.